Hi and welcome back to Gamers Web. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Warhammer 40,000 Conquest issue 18 in our ongoing look at this magazine which is done in conjunction with Games Workshop and the Hatchet Park Works. Okay so uh, jumping right in, um, the magazine comes with two pots of paint, you get a, a Rakath flesh and a Mephiston red. Um, both really good colours, both very useful, especially the Mephiston red. And we'll have a quick look at the magazine itself and see what we get. Okay, so as well as getting the magazine, we also get, we'll look at this first, um, we get a battle mat to expand your game board. So, um, I can't even fit it is in that big. All right, so, um, it's a double-sided battle mat um, that expands your game board for the basic game, which is fantastic, but enough of that for the moment. Okay, so, um, there's the cover, uh, Battles in the 21st Century, uh, that's when I say 41st millennium, why am I saying 21st century? So we'll learn about the Silver Templars, uh, how to paint your models again, and a new playmat included. Now, the Silver Templars are an offshoot of the Black Templars. Um, there was a rumour when this magazine first came out that the entire magazine was going to concentrate on the Silver Templars. But um, lots of the iconography that has appeared on the Marines so far actually has Ultramarine symbols on them. So the Lieutenant that we got way back in one of the early issues, I think it was issue f seven. Um, that issue, sorry, I might have been earlier than that, I'm six. The lieutenant actually has ultramarine iconography on him. So I don't know if that's going to be correct or not. So there's the front. Quick look at the back. In the back, we get our um, issue 19 contains the uh, Death, uh, Death Guard Lord and uh, three Death Guard uh, Terminators. And we also get in issue 20 another container which we got in issue 13 and we also got another one in last last issue in issue 17. Okay, so these things, um, they're quite expensive to buy. They're about £15 a piece and we're getting these at half price, more or less. And this is good value for money, just like the previous issue with the intercessors was quite good value for money. Okay, so, right, so jump right in. Okay, so learning about the Silver Templars, um, the Primarch is Robert Gulliman, which is basically uh, the Primarch of the Ultramarines because they're a successor chapter. Uh, it will actually give us background on them. There's the organisation chart for them. Um, they are wearing Primaris uh, armour because they are a Primaris chapter, uh, or made up programmatic of Primaris Marines. Um, armoury, talking about bolt weapons, so your bolt pistols and your bolt guns and bolt rifles. And um, there we go, a heavy bolter, bolt rifle, bolt pistol, storm bolter, uh, assault bolter, combi bolter, and a bolt gun. Hell blasters, we haven't had the rules for the hell blasters, because we, but we got the figures last time. So there we go. Um, I think the figures were in uh, issue 17. Okay, so um, relief on Lycus, which is a bit of fluff about um, Space Marine Battle. Right, painting fine details on your figures using the paints you've already got. Now we've got all these in previous issues. This is just basically tells you how to put on various details on your Marines and your Chaos guys. Um, quick tutorial mission for called Seas. And then we have um, a data sheet for your uh, Mephatic Blight Hauler, which we got in an earlier issue. And then your new playmat, which will fit together with your other playmat, will allow you to actually fight more. So um, from issue 21, the battle goes planet side. So we're going to get new terrain and new missions. Okay. And then back to the end. So quite a quick one. Um, this one contains, as I say, the Mephiston red, which is one of the best colours that, one of the best reds that games work up to. Fantastic colour. And also the Rakraft Flesh, which is great for doing um, things like backpacks and also doing banners and things. It's a very good colour. In fact, I actually use that quite a lot on my um, Wild West Exodus figures for do, on, as a flesh highlight. Okay, right, so uh, that's our look at issue 18. Um, hopefully we shall have issues 19 uh, through to 23 very shortly because these are four weeks late. So as a, that's it. As always, I'm Mark, Gamers Web, by Gamers, for Gamers.